What up, YouTube? This is my back day. And you guys see me doing deadlifts right here. And this is just warming up. You might be asking me, why are you doing deadlifts on your back day? So I target all of the back on the my back days. So it also is a leg workout. It hits your quads, hits your hammies, hits your glutes. But I'm trying to make it so uh, I don't move my legs as much and I focus more on hitting that lower lower back in the lat. And as you can see, my form is not the best on my deadlift. So I want you guys to uh, critique my form and tell me guys tell me what I can be doing better. And so as we move on in the video, I go up in weight to 240 230 this is no this is 235. So I do 5 sets of 5 on this. And I've been really implementing the 5x5 five five system because I really enjoy it. It really helps me get past plateaus and I make I'm still making some strength gains, which is nice. So, here's another angle coming for you. Boom. And I like this angle because it makes it shows that I'm not really moving my legs too much, which is good. And I'm getting I don't know, I look kind of buff from this side, so this is kind of cool, but I, I, liked, I liked what I did here with changing up the angle. And right here, I'm doing that Elliot Hulse bioenergetic uh, power thing. It helps me finish off my set, just stretches my back and gives me a little bit more energy. So, after dead lifts of 5x5 five five with 235 I'm gonna move moving on to dumbbell rows I don't know you guys might say this isn't a compound movement but I feel it in the buys I feel it in the lats I feel it in the forearms especially after deadlifts and I, one of the big focuses on this is just pulling with your elbows and I like to keep it on a kind of a kind of a negative and then right when it hits the bottom I just pull up as fast as I can I probably should have done 65s with this weight but my gym doesn't have 65 pound dumbbells and I didn't want to use 60s for a 5x5 five five routine so I just went 70s and manned up the form definitely could have been better but hey that's the whole reason why I'm filming these videos so I can watch learn and next time I go in the gym get better at it so, here I go to power cleans, and you might be just wondering, what the hell is this guy thinking? This is not this is not a back day. Uh, well, I, I'm a big believer in compound movements, and this does hit your lower back. I feel it in the delts the day after, the, and I, just the upper, you could say it's a shoulder workout too, but, and there goes the Elliot Hulse bioenergetic energy thing again. But... I feel it in the back because you. I, I like to use my lower back a lot of my lifts. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I just implemented this, the power cleans into my 5x5 five five routine, and it's just 115 pounds, but I'm not, a, I've just started doing power cleans again, so because my wrists were hurting. And I just started doing it within like the past month, so I'm going to need some critiquing on this too. It's not horrible, but definitely could be better. And, uh, here, give me one sec. Yeah, so I'm doing 5x5 five five on this. I was just checking my, uh, my, my handy dandy notebook here. But whenever I do power cleans, man, it's a freaking cardio workout, and I'm sweating up like a pig. I only gave myself about 60 to 90 seconds rest on this, and this is an incredibly hard movement if you if you don't do this often. And I was working with a buddy, and we were both sweating our sweating our asses off on this lift because we usually we don't we just started doing this lift, and it's a great one, but it hurts like a mofo. I think this is my last rep right there. Right here is the last rep. 
It was tough. And I was going, I could have went higher, but I didn't, really did not want to hurt my wrists. So, better just take it safe than sorry. And I don't know what this movement is called, but this is an isolated, it isolated my lats and just really hit everything after that, after the back day. So, I actually supersetted this with push-ups, or not push-ups, pull-ups, sorry. And what's a day without pull-ups, right? And then when I got home, because I biked to the gym, and it's about five, ten minute ride, I was like, I'm going to hit more pull-ups. So I did, and I did four sets of till failure, and I think I got ten here. I averaged about ten on each one. So I total about maybe 60 to 70 pull-ups in. And thank you guys for watching.